let's move on to Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul. A lot of confusion was surrounding this match. No one can confuse the mark because I was right on the mark with how this was kind of going to play out. And I'll say this too. There was a bit of confusion at first where it was Logan versus Cody. And they were advertising it as champion versus champion. No one really knew what was happening. Um, I was always kind of under the uh, uh, assumption of just like, all right, well, it's going to get cleared up in a week. Right now, it's just champion versus champion. I saw a lot of people after that were like, oh, it's going to be title versus title because they were just saying it's champion versus champion. Champion versus champion does not mean title versus title. That means two guys who hold titles are going to be wrestling each other. And then basically what I said pretty much happened was that Logan Paul was just like, nah, we're going to only wrestle for your title. And that's pretty much what happened. Dylan, I think we're going to have the same um, prediction here. Cody's going to win, right? Yeah, Cody for sure is going to win. Uh, this was 100% a match like requested by Saudi Arabia. Um, there's, I'll tell you this, and this is coming from, and tell me. we're not Logan Paul haters. Logan Paul has earned the respect of almost all the wrestling fans at this point. I would, I would assume the amount of work and he's obviously found a kind of a passion for it. He seems to really enjoy what he's doing. Um, he wouldn't be doing it. Like he wouldn't be showing up on like raw and SmackDown, like on a weekly basis. If that wasn't yeah, the case, pretty um, much full time now. Yeah, so he wouldn't go full time if it really wasn't if he didn't want to or enjoy what he was doing. With that being said, it's not a coincidence that both Ro Logan Paul's world title matches have been in Saudi Arabia. Um, <laughs> this like this is no coincidence. This is everyone knows what's going on. They got big money and they're they got people requesting specific matches. They wanted this match, um, and. With that being said, it'll probably be a really fun match. It'll probably be really uh, a lot of a lot of fun, and I'm sure there'll be a few really big spots. I'm I'm excited for it. It's probably going to be really entertaining. But there's literally no way Cody loses this. Um, fully agree. Um, and yeah. I, do you think this feud goes after, or you think it's one and done? I think it's one and done. He didn't even earn Agreed. the match to begin with. He was just, <laughs> yeah, like I think, like I said, I think it's, I don't think they want to do this match. Like, oh, I think they're doing this no. for Saudi Arabia. You know, Triple H wanted to run Cody versus AJ for months. Is AJ back. Like, there's no way. Then, yeah, he just like, we yeah, got screwed. No, it's going to be over after this. He has his um, own title to defend. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, and he really also. He has to defend a different title. Shame on everybody who thought that they were going to unify the titles and put them on the same person Bro. as if Triple H doesn't know ball, as if Triple H doesn't know what's up, as if Triple H didn't, isn't going to learn from what happened with Roman Reigns. Triple H is a smart guy. You just got to yeah. be patient sometimes, as we said so many I think, times. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, just be patient. I think the main thing was just, I think, everybody playing into it, like Cody tweeting two belts and um stuff like that like they tried to make it seem like it was going to be that at first um but like you said yeah it was just never gonna happen and that's what i i kind of like i never thought that they were going to do it for both titles just because i didn't think triple h was going to do that because again triple h is smart and so he knows what he's doing 